Hello, Cancer. This is your mid-August 2019 reading. As you know, it will not resonate with every Cancer. But this is for mid-August 2019. I'm asking for new energies for Cancer coming in for mid-August 2019. Full Celtic Cross. Full Celtic Cross. Let me see what I got coming here. Incoming energy for Cancer. I always look for that positive reading, but if we don't get one, we will work through it. Mm, you feel like there's no growth in an area? Feel like things are, you know, you're not getting your blessings? Feel like for a few of you, you may feel like motherhood have fa has failed you. Others may be uh, trying to conceive, you know? It's all different reasons. And we'll come, we'll, we will, you know, figure it out. But right now, it feels like there's no growth. You just feel like there's no growth. Like things are just stagnant or something. Yeah, you're not 100% happy. It's not like you're miserable, miserable. You know, you, you've had worse. But with the sun card in reverse, someone's not 100% happy with the situation. Crossing it, the Four of Cups. Not liking what is offered. Turning down something. You may, may even reject an offer with the Four of Cups. Or maybe someone rejected it with you. You know, we'll clarify. Remember when I start clarifying, I can change the whole story up. So, you know, bear with me. What crowns you is the Princess of Wands, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, someone with a short temper. Someone who is... Uh, or messages that are really sharp or, or um, not exactly what you wanted to hear, you know? Because sometimes the princes in, in other decks are like pages, you know? Foundation, you want your ships to come in or maybe they will come in. But if for some of you, I'm feeling like something did come in that is positive, but you don't know if you like it for some of you, just for some of you. In the past, you didn't want to hold back anymore. Some of you may have been spending too much. You may have been tired of keeping things to yourself in the past. We'll clarify. In the very near future, you will be dealing with the Princess of Dis. Again, this could be a page, a page of a stabil I mean a message of finances, uh, stability, something you were long waiting to hear. For some others, it could be uh, dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now, I'll lay out four more, and we'll see what's going on. It just seems like you're just not happy with it, something you got. That's what I'm feeling for a lot of you. You're getting something good, but for some reason, you're not happy with it. You can put it in the comments. Someone offered you something. It seems like a you know pretty decent situation like where your ships come in, but you're like, I don't know if I want that. Maybe you're wanting something else. Maybe you're wanting, maybe you have different goals, you know. But the sun in reverse, four cups, subject at hand. Why are you there for cancer? Again, prince of disc. Well, this prince is a disc. Prince of disc, pretty much the same thing. Again, it can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm thinking you're not happy with the message you're getting with the even though it's giving you some type of stability, or it may, and maybe you don't think so. Now, when I go into the future, this is a near future, and we got actually three possible futures or outcomes, and they all could happen. Near future, possible future outcome, if you listen to the advice from the universe or whatever, and the final outcome, and this is what is coming towards you, and of course your hopes and fears, but we gotta do this one first. We gotta do the near future and the here and now. So the sun in reverse, four of cups crossing it, prince of disc in the upright. Why are you there for cancer? In mid-August, what's going on? Something going on. Yeah, you may put an ending to something. You may say, I don't want this. You may very well um, reject an offer that you don't like. It's not that it's not good. But it's saying here that someone may offer you something, something of stability. And you may just say, this is not what I want with, with this ending type card. Now, what crowns you 
or your goal, and I'm thinking it's what crowns you, the Princess of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone with a short temper possibly, so, or passionate messages that you don't like. Maybe they're hateful, maybe they're rude, but the, prince is, the Princess of Wands, why are you there for Cancer is what, 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 what crowns them, what crowns them. Yeah, you may get a little defensive or have to take up for yourself with valor to get on top of things with these messages with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to um, say something to somebody and take control, do what is right. Princess of Wands in reverse, Seven of Wands in the upright while you're there is what crowns Cancer. Cancer dealing with a few situations here. Yeah, you're... You're not wanting a situation. You, you feel like whatever is happening, whatever is offered to you, would not bring your you a happy home. You know, happiness in your home or your abode. You're wanting happiness, and you don't feel whatever is offered to you is going to bring that for you. But it could. It really could. But you're not thinking so. So the Three of Wands is a foundation. Ships coming in. Good things coming in. Passionate energies coming in that are positive. Three of Wands in the upright while you're there for Cancer. It's two want to come out and I'm going to let it. Yeah, someone's offering you something that is of, of an emotional nature, something that you will love. They feel that you will love. They want you to take it. But maybe it's from the Princess of Wands and maybe that's why you're not accepting it because there it is again. The message you received is not a message you like or maybe it's coming from a person you're not really willing to take it from for whatever reason. Maybe you don't trust them. Maybe you don't feel they're experienced enough. That's, an, that's it too. Someone with lack of experience in life. So the Princess of Wands in reverse and all of them are just... I see they're wanting to give you something positive but it's like... You don't know, if you, maybe you're the one giving the message and saying, I don't want it, and it comes off kind of, you know, not exactly, there's a fly around here, not as exactly as what you're wanting. Now, in the past, you got the Four of Pentacles. Maybe some of you overspent because you're, you're not holding tight to your finances. You're not holding tight to anything, and maybe even released a little bit of your own power. So the Four of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Cancer. Uh, maybe um, as a Seven of Swords, I saw that for another sign. Seven of Swords can be someone that was devious and took advantage of you with the Seven of Swords. Maybe someone took advantage of your finances. Maybe you opened up to somebody. Or they uh, took away in some way your stability and your trust. So the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in the upright while you're there for Cancer in the past. It's like you don't trust situations for some reason. This stupid fly. Um, the hangman in reverse. Yeah, you're you're coming out of the woodwork. Something possibly came out that was kind of hidden, not hidden, but off to the side. And you found out about it, or you're gonna find out about it. With the seven of swords. And something definitely took away your stability and made you come out of the woodwork and, and have to do something about it. And, but you do get something else come to you. Something does come to you that you love or whatever. And maybe you're just not happy. Maybe you're not in a good mood for some of you. And you may say, no, I don't want this. Because maybe you're just not feeling well or you're not in a really good mood. And vice versa. This someone could be doing this to you, you know. But in the near future, you got the Princess of Dis in the upright. And the Princess of Dis can be, like I said, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or somebody with, um, I don't know. Someone very practical or practical messages. Maybe someone relays a message to you and say, this will bring you stability. Let's find out. Prince is a disc in the upright while you're there for cancer in the very near future. Very, very near future because it's getting to the middle of the month. Yeah, you have a couple people that's going to approach you. Or like I said, messages again of passion, of practicality saying, you know, we're here. We've got this message for you. We want you to do this. We want you to take this off or your ships are coming in. But for some reason, like I said, you're not happy. You can leave it in the comments. Why aren't you happy, Cancer? What is getting under your skin that makes you want to reject this offer or this situation? So Princess of uh, Disc, Prince of Wands, both in the upright. Why are you there? 
for cancer in the very near future. So you will be getting messages or dealing with people. Yeah, you'll be dealing with a lot of people, a few people. I'm thinking someone's trying to talk you into something. Queen of Wands, again, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some people say it's Aries. Some say it's Leo. There are all kind of arguments with the tarot cards. But it is a passionate person. They All of these are in an upright position. So the messages are good. They're, they're, they're not terrible, okay? So if you think something's terrible around you and it's too good to be true, or maybe you're just put out, or maybe you just don't trust, um, in the near future, these people are, are in the upright. They're trying to do right by you. They're trying to convince you of something of some sort. Now we got to go back over to here. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. <laughs> Knight of Wands says go for it. Go for something that's more passionate. Even if you don't feel like it, try it. It's what it's saying. Don't kill the messenger, okay? Again, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this someone is a go-getter, very passionate, a lot of energy, and it says go, go, go. So Knight of Wands in the upright while you're there for cancer as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe lust in reverse it's like um you don't desire this it, you're, you're you lack desire cancer and the universe is saying go for that even if you don't really feel like it or it's not what you're really really wanting it's up to you though you know i don't tell you what to do or at least i try not to so the knight of wands the lust card in reverse why are you there yeah it's like you're not trusting your intuitions don't don't Try to second guess yourself with the high priestess in, in reverse. Stop second guessing everything. That's what it's saying. I mean, it's okay to be safe and, um, you know, and be cautious about things, especially nowadays. But um, someone is offering you something that seems that everybody's telling you it's a good offer. Um, but you're like, ah, I don't want it. So let's see what's coming towards you. This is a seven of wands. It is in the upright. This is taking control. The outside environment, what is coming towards you? Someone wants you to take control. Maybe someone's trying to take control of the situation and trying to talk into something. Seven of wands in the upright is valor. It's, someone's doing something right, too. So seven of wands in the upright while you're there for cancer coming towards them. What's going on? Then we'll sum all this up. Yeah, it's a contract. It's a good one. I mean, it could be marriage, it could be jobs, it could be anything. It's something as solid that that community smiles, the community or society smiles at at large. So something really good's coming your way, but for some reason you may reject it. Hope not. Seven of Wands in the upright, the Hierophant in the upright, the outside environment, or what is coming towards cancer? Why are you there? Yeah, someone is really offering you something. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone is offering you love. I love the Knight of Cups. I always have, always will. When I get this in my, in any of my readings, something positive always comes in. So Cancer, consider it. I'm not saying put yourself out there in danger. Like I said, you, you can look at stuff. Just make sure before you reject something, that it, it, it is something you don't want. I know you're wanting, you got hopes in something else, but I don't know. Yeah, you got hope, <laughs> like I just said, and something else with the star card. Yeah, this is your hopes and fears and your manifestations, but the star card in the upright, while you're there, it's a great card. You got hope. You're hoping for something else possibly, too. The star card in the upright, while you're there for cancer. I'm sorry about that little fly. I had coffee in here earlier. I dropped the card. Got to get the card. Ah, you have anxiety about accepting possibly this offer with the Nine of Swords. I don't know how it fell, but either way, you're, it has to do with anxiety, staying up at nights. Um, you're not 100% certain about the cup's energy. You're afraid that um, it's not going to be what you're wanting. You're afraid it's going to cause you anxiety, and that's why you're putting your hopes so elsewhere. Again, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio for some of you. Or like I said, there's... Um, you're afraid of those, the, the wording, the, the messages that, that someone is trying to give you, which I think is a lot to do with that Knight of Cups. It's like, you, should I or shouldn't I? I don't think I want to do this. I think I'm, I, I really want to do something else. But the final outcome, 
Prince of Wands. Looks like you are going to do something with the Prince of Wands. It looks like you may actually consider it because they're going to keep on asking you. Okay, they're going to keep on asking you with the Prince of Wands. Again, it could be a page, a message, a passionate message. They're going to keep on asking you. You may keep on saying no, but it's going to continue on from mid-August on. So they really, somebody really wants you to do something with them. It could have to do with a Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of you, it could be a water energy. I told you about that. It has to do with solid contracts with others. It could be an earth element. Because this is an outside environment here. So I'm thinking you're dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I don't know. But the universe is saying there's go for it. Passionate energy. Even if you don't like it with the lust card in reverse. And stop second guessing everything. So, Prince of Wands, in the end, why are you there for, for cancer in the very end? What's going on? This is a pretty cool reading. I like this reading. Yeah, you're going to like it. It's going to bring you great memories. They're going to tell you all the good things about it. They're going to really uh, try to get you to go for it with the Six of Cups. They're going to tell you all the good things that they have to offer, that they have done in the past, and what they're bringing to the table with the Six of Cups. They're bringing good things to the table, Cancer, and you may still thumb your nose at it. So the Prince of Wands in the upright, Six of Cups in the upright, why are you there for Cancer? And it'll bring you out of worry. They're going to say, you're so worried all the time. You're, you know, I know you don't trust anything with the Seven of Swords in the past. And I know you may reject this, but let, uh, let me let you know. And they may come forcefully upon you to say this at first. They may say it kind of, I, like I said, a kind of rude or way you don't like. But other people are going to come towards you the same way and say, this is a really good deal. You should go for it. And stop second guessing stuff because what's coming towards you is a really solid contract and it's a right for you. It's right for you. And like I said, the Knight of Cups is awesome. You have hope, like I said, for something else. You want to come anxiety and you may say no to this offer, but I um, hope not. You know, but like I said, it's on your own. Again, the Prince of Wands is, is there. They're telling you how good this thing is, and it'll bring you out of neglect and worry and not having enough. And at the end, you have a victory with the Six of Wands. So maybe they do talk you into it, or maybe you get the other thing you're wanting. But I'm feeling you get a victory with this situation with the Six of Wands in the upright. It's a good reading. It's a good reading. I don't get that often a lot for cancers because they're going through so much. But it's like, I think that's the problem. You just went through so much and not trusting. And you, ah, I've been messed over before. I'm not going to, it's too good to be true. I don't know if I'm happy with this situation. I may just say no because there's a death card or the ending card. I'm going to start calling it the ending card because every time I say the word, um, the algorithm doesn't like it. I mean, it's getting ridiculous, but it's the truth. But this is actually a really good reading so it's up to you is it yes or is it no cancer put it in the comments bye